I ended up getting a couple of things from Fall Winter 19, about four pieces from the overall collection. The reason I didn't end up picking the entire collection though is because I didn't feel like I needed everything in it. And let me just say that I was very tempted, especially considering it has that gorgeous limited edition white packaging. So I just decided to hold off on it and just be practical since I already have a pretty substantial Chanel beauty collection. I ended up getting the four items I knew that I would use often enough. First thing, I got the two nail polishes and I love, love, love this limited edition packaging in the all white. I just think it's super chic. I am wearing pure white right now and this is actually two coats. The other one is pure black and it's actually really similar, very, very similar as you can see in the swatch here to Celebrity. Now I have had my Celebrity nail polish for probably, um, I would say like over a year and I've used it quite a bit which is why it's a little bit thicker than Pure Black. Pure Black is brand new. I've gone about halfway through my bottle of Celebrity so this is an excellent replacement. I was going to buy another one anyway. Love black nail polish. I can never get enough of it. The next items that I picked up are the two lipsticks and I am actually wearing one of them right now. Um, Rouge Obscure, which is this really beautiful, kind of like burnt berry red. It's just like stunning, stunning, stunning. I wouldn't say that it's very warm. It's not too cool either. It's just like the perfect neutral red. It really has like a good balance of colors. If you guys are into reds, burgundies, check this one out. The other color that I got in the collection is Rouge, which one is this? Sorry, Rose Nocturne, which is like a really gorgeous, kind of like brownie rose, I would say. Both of them are matte. Both of them come in these matte sleek cases. And the top logo is white, which I love because it's very consistent with the rest of the collection. And Lucia Pica did such a good job on this one. I'm telling you, season after season, she just continues to surprise me. And I always think to myself, how is she going to top this off? And she always does. She just, she's a master at what she does. So the next beauty item I got is not from Fall Winter 19, but it is the newly reformulated CC Cream. This one is supposed to have more coverage, more protection from the sun against UVA, UVB rays, has SPF 50. Um, it's supposed to give the skin like a really beautiful natural finish. It's supposed to cover up any blemishes. Um, it's very hydrating, moisturizing. I did get the color that I was before in the previous CC cream, which is beige number 30. And I found that this one was actually a little bit more on the pinkier side. It's also a bit lighter, which I was a little disappointed about because the previous number 30 beige was the perfect neutral. So they used to have three shades, if I recall correctly, correctly. I think it was light, medium, and dark. Again, there are side-by-side -side comparisons of the old CC cream here and then the new one so you guys can have a look for yourselves. I would recommend that if you guys previously used the CC cream, maybe pop into the store and just see how the new shade compares to your previous shade and just make sure that you're getting the right one since they did seem to kind of like update that a little. Other beauty. That was sad. Bottle is okay. The other two items that I picked up are nail polishes. Uh, this is Violet Picante, which is a really beautiful kind of like ultraviolet purple nail color. And the other, which is the one that just fell, and look at what just happened. That is so annoying. I didn't even know that the cap consisted of two pieces like this. So the other color is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. This one is called Rose Cachet and I would say it is the perfect nude for my light to medium skin tone. I am a little bit on the warmer side by the way and this one just looks stunning, stunning, stunning on my hands. I love it. It's actually a little bit similar to the other one which I think is called, hold on, yeah, Organdi. Not sure if you can see it here. It's just a little similar. Rose Cachet is just a little darker, but they're both, I would say, in the same shade family. Very, very beautiful. If you like Organdi, definitely check out Rose Cachet. I had to go into a couple of stores though because I had a hard time finding it when I did. I just, I picked it up right away, no questions asked. 
Moving into the next couple of pieces that I got from Chanel. These are fragrances. This is the Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Perfume Intense. It is the 200 milliliter bottle. It is oversized. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning on display. So if you guys are a fan of this perfume and if you go through it really quickly, I would highly recommend picking up this bottle. This is my 50 ml version. And as you can see, I've gone through about half of the bottle now. Ever since getting this one, I'm generously applying it everywhere just to kind of like set a really nice tone as I take a shower or get ready. It's just like the little things that I like to do that kind of elevate normal everyday experiences. So definitely check out this. Look at how cute they are side by side. I love them. The next item is the Coco Mademoiselle Velvet Body Oil. This one is fabulous for getting out of the shower and just spraying it on after a moisturizer. It just leaves behind a really beautiful scent. You can put it on right before you go into bed if you like to take your showers at night. It leaves a really nice shimmer on the skin. It's just so pretty. One of my favorite perfumes, hands down. I love, love, love this scent. I love the fact that it's plastic because as you saw with the nail polish just now, accidents happen. And if you were to drop a big bottle of oil on the floor, that would just be disastrous. So I think they did a really good job in choosing to go with the plastic bottle. Finally, we have Chanel skincare. La Mousse is actually one that was recommended to me from a friend. He basically DM'd me and told me, you have to go out and get this stuff. It is amazing. I've been so obsessed. They're sold out everywhere apparently. And of course, when he said those words, it prompted me to go out and look for it myself. I couldn't find it in store, which is why I ended up ordering it online. It was my first experience shopping with Chanel Beauty online. And let me just tell you, it was a really fun process. It comes packaged really beautifully in gift wrap. You get two samples to pick from and I decided to go with perfumes because I love Chanel perfumes. Um, moving back into the product. So this is the La Mousse product. It is a cleansing cream to foam. As soon as you add water, it just like foams up really beautifully. It says that it removes impurities. It removes excess sebum. I was actually impressed the very first time that I used it. I was really surprised at how soft my skin was after. Like I would have thought that I just masked. It also has a really gorgeous scent. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a little florally, but it's really, really nice. So I've been using this at night and in the morning. At night, right before I do the La Mousse, like my very first step is actually to use this one. And this is Lele. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but it is a cleansing milk to oil. And anybody who wears makeup out there knows that you definitely want to double cleanse. So this is what I do as my first step to remove all of my makeup, anything that's waterproof, lipstick, anything like that. And then once that's gone, I'll just go in with the La Mousse. This one, similar idea. It just gets rid of any impurities. It leaves your skin really soft. It's really gentle. It has this really cool, like it starts off with the cream and it has this really cool texture where it changes into the silky oil. And the more that you rub it into your hands and into your face as you're doing those like little circular motions, the more that you feel that the oil just starts to glide. And I swear it turns into this like gorgeous silk. So it starts off as a cream, moves into this like oil, and then it transforms into this silky like texture. And it is phenomenal. It washes away really, really easily with water. So I'll just do a couple of splashes on my face and that's pretty much it. It's like all traces of it are gone. All traces of my makeup are gone. And then after I go in with this product, there is nothing, there's like no makeup. All my makeup is completely washed away. So I've been doing this for a few days now and I have been loving these. Plus they look really good displayed on the counter. So. so I hope you guys found this video helpful in some capacity. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and make sure you follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and all that stuff because I'm always posting there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye. This is the current state of my Chanel shelf. A little disorganized but everything I need is essentially right here. If you guys ever want to see how I organize my makeup, maybe even the rest of my Chanel beauty collection, definitely let me know and leave a comment down below.